Spent all my life chasing after seasons, looking for the reasons and the whys. But there's a place I grew up a dreaming, walking down a Delta Eudora Welty, always generous in sharing her talent with others, gave permission early in my career to paint my visual images from her words, then graciously supported the resulting shows. Today, after 30 plus years of artistic growth, I am revisiting the project at a much deeper level, taking to heart her advice not to feel constrained to paint her visual images, but to paint my own. Since returning to Mississippi and immersing myself in the series, I have produced the following paintings. The images are mine. The inspiration, Eudora's. Ellen looked down the road for Dabney. Stretching away, the cotton fields slowly emptying were becoming the color of the sky, a deepening blue so intense that it was like darkness itself. There was a feeling in the infinity of the delta that even the bounded things waiting, for instance, could go on forever. Over and over from the bayou woods came the one high note, then the three low notes of the dove, Delta Wedding. In contrast, the bayou in its silence could seem like a lagoon in a foreign world, and a solitary person could walk beside it with inward, uncomforted thoughts. The house was charged with life, the fields were charged with life, endlessly exploited, but the bayou was filled with its summer trance or its winter trance of sleep, its uncaught fishes. Delta Wedding. It was the hour of sunset. All the souls that he had saved and all those who he had not took dusky shapes in the mists that hung between the high banks and seemed by their great number and density to block his way and showed no signs of melting or changing back into mist, so that he feared his passage was to be difficult forever. A still moment. Then a whole swarm of fireflies instantly flickered all around him, up and down, back and forth, first one golden light, then another, flashing without any of the weariness that had held back the soul. These were the signs sent from God that he had not seen the accumulated radiance of saved souls because he was not able, and his eyes were more able to see the fireflies of the Lord than his blessed souls. A still moment. When they turned off, it was still early in the pink and green fields. The fumes of morning, sweet and bitter, sprang up where they walked. The insects ticked slowly, their strength in reserve. Butterflies chopped the air going to the east, and the birds flew carelessly and sang by fits and starts, not the way they did in the morning, in sustained and drowsy songs. It's a pretty day for sure, said William Wallace. It's a pretty day for it. The Wide Net. The turning of water and sky, of the moon or the sun, always preceded and there was this magical hesitation in their midst of a boat. And in the boat, it was not so much that they drifted, as that in the presence of a boat, the world drifted, forgot. The dreamed about changed places with the dreamer. Moon Lake. By night, the delta looked just like a big bed, the whiteness and the luminous dark. It was like the clouds that spread around in the east for the moon that the horses walked through and the buggies rolled over. Delta Wedding. Well, the cypress and the bayou were touched with flame in their leaves, early to meet fall, as they were early to meet spring, and with the same wild color. The locusts clung to the tree trunk. The birds were flying over every day now, and Roy said he heard them calling in the night. Delta Wedding. At the landing, much was known about all kinds of love that had happened there, and wisdom traveled when it left the porches, 
in the persons of three old women at the landing. Each day the storm clouds are opening like great purple flowers and pouring out their dark thunder. Each nightfall the storm was laid down on their houses like a burden the day it carried. The noise of rain, of the gullies filling, of the little river leaping up and running in waves filled all the landing at the landing. So the day was hard, but the night canceled out the day when the moon went sailing like a boat through the heavens between long radiant clouds, all lunar sandbars lying in the stream, and the stars like little fishes nibbled at the night. The Robber Bridegroom At her feet the bayou ran, low, long since cleared of trees here, and all but motionless. She thought it was like a mirror that was time darkened, no longer reflecting very much, but an entity in itself. Delta Wedding. It was in a bar, a quiet little hole in the wall. It was four o'clock in the afternoon. Beyond the open door, the rain fell the heavy color of the sea in an air where the sunlight was still suspended. Its watery reflection lighted the room as the room might have lighted a mouse hole. It was New Orleans. The Purple Hat. Thoughts went out of her head and the landscape filled it. In the Delta, most of the world seemed sky. The clouds were large, larger than horses or houses, larger than boats or churches or gins, larger than anything except the fields the Fairchilds planted. Delta Wedding. One day, almost as late as five o'clock, the sun was still shining. It seemed almost to spin in a tiny groove in the polished sky. And down below, in the trees along the street and in the rows of flower gardens in the town, every leaf reflected the sun from a hardness like a mirror surface. A curtain of green. Maybe someday she could become bright and shining all at once, as though at the very touch of another with herself. But now she was like a house with all its rooms dark from the beginning and someone would have to go slowly and darkly leaving each one lighted behind before going to the next. It was not caution or distrust that was in herself. It was only a sense of journey, of something that might happen at the landing. What each of them had wanted was simply all, to save all souls, to destroy all men, to see and to record all life that filled this world, all all, but now a single frail yearning seemed to go out of the three of them for a moment and to stretch toward this one snowy, shy bird in the marshes. It was as if three whirlwinds had drawn together at some center to find their feeding in peace a snowy heron. Its own slow spiral of flight would take it away in its own time, but for a little it held them still it laid quiet over them, and they stood for a moment, unburdened. A still moment. Everywhere there, the hanging moss and the upthrust stones were in that strange graveyard shade where, by the light they give, the moss seems made of stone, and the stone of moss at the landing. In the delta, the sunsets were reddest light. The sun went down lopsided and wide, as a rose on a stem in the west, and the west was a milk-white edge, like the foam of a sea. The sky, the field, the little track, and the bayou, over and over, all that had been bright or dark was now one color. Delta Wedding. From the warm window sill, the endless fields glowed like a hearth in firelight, and Laura looking out, leaning on her elbows, with her head between her hands, felt what an arriver in a land feels, that slow, hard pounding in the breast. Delta Wedding. 
Outside, the summer day shimmered and rustled, and the porch seemed to flow with light and shadow that traveled outwards. Delta Wedding. Then leaves cut out like stars in the early red color of pomegranates lay all over the water, and imperceptibly they came out into the river. The water looked like the floor of the woods that could be walked on. Delta Wedding. Above in an unbroken circle, all around the wheel of the level world, lay silvery blue clouds whose edges melted and changed into the pink and blue of the sky. Delta Wedding. In the center of everything, in the center of thunder, there was a precious piece of quiet, and into that quiet her love would go. At the landing. When the day lengthened, a rosy light lay over the cotton. Laura stretched her arm out the window and let the soot sprinkle it. There went a black mule. In the diamond light of far distance, going into the light, a child drove a black mule home, and all behind, the hidden track through the fields was marked by the lifted, fading train of dust. The delta buzzards that seemed to wheel as wide and high as the sun, with evening were going down too, settling into far away violet tree stumps for the night. Delta Wedding When the light fell on the river, in a wandering from shore to shore, it was leaf-shaped spangles that trembled softly, while the dark of the river was calm. The willow trees leaned overhead under muscadine vines, and their trailing leaves hung like waterfalls in the morning air. The thing that seemed like silence must have been the endless cry of all the crickets and locusts in the world rising and falling. The wide net. The swamp was now all enveloping, dark and at the same time vivid, alarming. It was like being inside the chest of something that breathed and might turn over. Moon Lake. But before them the white heron rested in the grasses with the evening all around it. Lighter and more serene than the evening, flight closed in its body. The circuit of its beauty closed, a bird seen and a bird still, its motion calm as if it were offered, take my flight, a still moment. To a certain extent, she seemed not to seek for order, but to allow an overflowering, as if she consciously ventured forever a little farther, a little deeper into her life in the garden, a curtain of green. All things, river, sky, fire, and air, seem the same color. The color that is seen behind the closed eyelids. The color of day when vision and despair are the same thing. At the landing. They all kissed goodbye again, while the green and gold shadows burned from the river. The sun was going down. Delta Wedding. Spent all my life chasing after seasons, looking for the reasons and the why. But there's a place I grew up a dreaming, walking down a delta road. Me and my wife. Like to do a little fishing. What a crooked hook to ease the mind. Catch a firefly on a warm summer's evening. I'm dreaming of a delta road where time is slow and pain and forgotten. Not forgotten and buried with a plow. Sun's coming up, another day is dawning. Somewhere on a delta road, 
Misty covered mornings, magnolias there are blooming. A honeysuckle breeze you taste for miles. Cotton in the field, I'm off to see my brother. I'm walking down a Delta road. Where time is slow. Pains and forgotten, if not forgotten, then buried with a plow. Sun's coming up another Sunday morning. It's life along a Delta road. Sun's coming up another day is dawning. Somewhere on a dell